hello students today we are going to start a new topic that is non destructive testing so in this topic we are going to learn about the introduction need and types of non destructive testing among the types the first one is the visual inspection then we have dye penetration or liquid penetration test then magnetic particle inspection then x ray radiography then it is ultrasonic testing then the last one is the eddy current method so this is the topic summary so here as we can see so first of all the introduction for non destructive testing so as the name is indicating non destructive means we are not going to destroy any part or component when we are testing the component so this non destructive testing is one part of function of quality control so one part of function of quality control and it is complementary to the other long established method so this non destructive testing helps in quality control so non destructive testing is one part of the function of quality control and is complementary to other long established methods so by definition we can say that non destructive testing is testing of material for surface or internal flaws or metallurgical conditions without interfering in any way with the integrity of the material or its suitability for service so in simple words we can say that non destructive testing is testing of material for surface or internal flaws or damages or any other metallurgical conditions without damaging the component without destroying the component so even after the testing also the component will be as good as it was before the testing so it will be suitable for using or suitable for service even after the test is completed so non destructive testing is the testing of materials for surface or internal flaws or metallurgical conditions without interfering in any way with the integrity of the material or its suitability for 
service. So this is the definition of NDT. So this technique can be applied on sampling basis for individual investigation or it may be used for 100% checking of material in a production quality control system. So this technology is a high technological concept that is the NDT concept is a high technological concept that is why evolution of the equipment has made it robust enough for application in any industrial environment at any stage of manufacture that is from steel making to site inspection of components already in service so in ndt a certain degree of skill is required to apply the techniques properly in order to obtain maximum amount of information concerning the product so ndt is not a simple process so here skilled labor is required to understand or to properly apply the technique and to obtain the maximum information which we can get about the product so a certain degree of skill is required to apply the techniques properly in order to obtain the maximum information about the product non destructive testing is not just a method for rejecting the substandard material but it is also an assurance that the supposedly good product or component is actually good so here in ndt we are not just rejecting the substandard material okay even we are making sure that the component which we are using is actually of a very good quality so ndt technique this technique uses a variety of principles so there is not a single method around which a black box may be built to satisfy all requirements in all circumstances so for each technique there will be different type of requirements so here this ndt technique uses a variety of principles and based on the principles principles of operation of each technique the requirements vary so what are the uses of ndt methods so uses of ndt methods so with ndt we can detect the flaws and we can evaluate these flaws or the component so i will simply write it as flaw detection and evaluation the next one is leak detection so if there is leak in a component with this ndt method we can detect the leak in that component without destroying the component then location determination so if there are flaws so if you want to find the location of the flaw we can easily determine the location also so location determination of flaws then dimensional measurements can be done with the help of this ndt techniques dimensional measurements we can also find the structure and microstructure characterization of the component 
so we can find the structure and microstructure so how the component is built or how the atoms are placed in the component so all this can be done with the help of ndt so we can estimate the mechanical and physical properties of the material or the component which we are testing estimation of mechanical and physical properties then stress strain and dynamic response measurement so how the component will respond to the stress strain or and dynamic response measurements of the component can be done then material sorting and chemical composition determination can also be done with the help of this ndt methods so material sorting and chemical composition determination so these are the uses of ndt the next one is the need for ndt so what is the need for non destructive testing so we need ndt to assist in product development so there are ndt applications at almost any stage in the production or life cycle of a component so ndt is needed in all the stages of production or life cycle of a component so first one is so ndt is needed to assist in product development so ndt is used or needed for screening or sorting the incoming material so to screen or sort incoming materials so ndt is needed to monitor to improve or control the manufacturing processes to monitor to improve or control manufacturing process NDT is needed to verify proper processing such as heat treatment so to check if there is proper processing of heat treatment we use NDT so to check if the assembly is properly made to verify proper assembly of the components to inspect for in service damage so the components which are already in service can be inspected for damage so ndt is a very useful method for checking any component because here we can see that even after the test on the component is completed the component will remain the same it will not be changed physically or even chemically so it will be as good as before the testing so this method can be used in 
any stage of the production and many things can be tested which i have listed here okay so this is the need for ndt so ndt can be used when you want to test a component but you do not want to destroy it so that time that is this non destructive testing method can be used so there are many methods for ndt so the types of non destructive testing so there are many different types of non destructive testing so like the visual inspection liquid penetration magnetic particle testing then x ray radiography or simply radiography then we have ultrasonic testing then eddy current method then we have acoustic microscopy acoustic emission then we have tap testing then we have laser interferometry and so on there are still many more different types of non destructive testing so among these the six most commonly used ndt methods and also the six very important ndt methods are the first six methods which i have listed here so visual inspection liquid penetration magnetic particle testing x ray radiography ultrasonic testing and eddy current method these six methods are most commonly used ndt methods and also most important methods so all these six methods we will learn them one by one so we will learn what is visual inspection then what are its uses and how it is done the advantages of visual inspection and the disadvantages of the visual inspection the same way for liquid penetration magnetic particle testing x ray radiography ultrasonic testing and eddy current method we will learn one by one so this is all about the first topic that is the introduction need and types of ndt methods so i hope you have understood the topic thank you